Hey guys, my name is Gast, and welcome to the uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses YouTube Q&A series. I posted in the community tab, um, ask away in the comments, and we featured in, and for the questions we featured in the video. And there is almost 300 of them, so yeah, this is gonna be a multi-parter if I can get through all of them. I don't know if I can though, so I'll try to make my uh, try to have my answers pretty short and. Uh, I have about 30 minutes right now, so we can get a, we can get through some of them. Okay, do you have any concerns for the upcoming game? I think my biggest concern is either the length it takes to beat a game, um, because 80 hours per route is like the speculated amount of time or whatever, or actually like the literal amount of time, and we don't I don't really know what exactly that contains. Like, did this guy go, do all the side stuff? Am I going to do that much stuff? Does this guy play really slow? Does he suck? Is he good? Does it take him forever to do a turn? That's one concern. I keep, there, there's, there was a guy who played the game on Reddit for a bit and he said the story was the same quality or a similar quality as Conquest. I don't know if I'm, I think I'm saying that correctly and that kind of concerns me a little bit, but outside of that, I'm not really worried. I'm like, I'm actually just kind of still like in I'm in this like weird state where I'm not even, I don't even, it's weird to think that a new Fire Emblem game is coming out in seven days, that's unreal. What are your thoughts on the speculation in the FE forums that depending on how the story ends for each house, one of the expansion pass DLCs would include a second time skip and feature the dreaded future children mechanic? That'd be cool. I think the only reason why the future children mechanic was so like frustrating to kind of stomach was the fact that it was set up really in a silly way. Um, I think it's going to be, even if there is a future children and second, second time skip thing, I think it's going to be better off if they do it this way. Like, it, it, like the closer it feels like to FE4, I think the less contrived it's going to be. <clears throat> and aside from three houses, what are your thoughts on fan made unit types? They're sick. I make them all the time. <laughs> do you have any predictions on what's going to happen to Dimitri during the time skip. I think he's going to do something with the Flame Emperor. I think I think he accidentally kills the Flame Emperor and I think the Flame Emperor is going to be like his family or his dad or something or he's going to realize that like I don't know, he's going to kill someone and he's going and he's going to be like really in shock about it. That's what I think. Do you think Fire Emblem 3 Houses will be a good game for beginners? Yeah, for sure. Easy. Easy, yes. Um uh, is there anyone in particular that you don't like in the cast, whether it be a character or design or anything else? Hilda's design kind of sucks, but I figured that her personality was going to be really mischievous and kind of funny, so that's good. Um, Design-wise? Ingrid's design isn't really appealing to me. Character-wise, Daydu has something to prove for me because he just seems like a gentle giant that we've seen before, but yeah. Even in his like bio thing with like in the Blue Lions preview, he didn't really seem that interesting. He was like, yeah, he likes to garden and he likes protecting Dimitri. Okay, cool. <laughs> Which one of the students will do you think will be the best waifu husbando material post time skip? I don't know. That's jeez, uh, I don't know. I'd like to get your thoughts on two things. What's one of the in, what's one innovation from the previous games they missed out on adding in three houses? Biorhythms. And what's the one innovation that you want and have yet to see implemented in an FE game in general? In an FE game in general? I'd like better map objectives. I'd like more, I, I would like more diverse map objectives um, and more like interactivity with uh, the map itself. Better map gimmicks and more ways to beat a map would be pretty cool because seizing and, diff and rooting en routing enemies and uh, what else, surviving, like they're all done a lot and I think you can get way more creative with it. So I think better better ways to finish a chapter would be pretty cool. Maybe this game is going to do that. What is your favorite new mechanic in Three Houses? What is your least favorite new mechanic? I think my favorite new mechanic is going to be, I guess, Battalions. I want to see what that's all about. And my least favorite new, like, Battalions and Gambits. Least favorite new mechanic is probably going to be Fishing and Cooking and... Not, not Cooking. Fishing and, like, that horticulture shit. I don't know. It's... <laughs> That agriculture stuff doesn't really seem that that appealing to me, and that's not really my thing. I, don't, I doubt I'll be doing it that much. I'll, I'll try to avoid it because it just seems kind of like lame. What are your thoughts and or hopes for Amiibo functionality? I'm curious to see what they do. Um, I don't really work Amiibos. I don't really care that much, honestly. I think it'd be interesting to see what the old character 
like 3H version portraits look like, but outside of that, not really. In, I'm pretty indifferent. Which character are you most excited for and why? Um, I'm really excited for Dimitri. I want to see what goes on in that guy's head. I want to see why Marianne is so sad. Um, I don't know. I guess I think a lot of the characters are really fun and interesting. I want to see what Annette looks like post time skip. I want to see if like she maintains her like cutest thing ever. <laughs> Do you think the villains in Three Houses will be underdeveloped or undeveloped and evil for the sake of evil as the one in Fates? Probably, yeah. I mean, a lot of the villains that we saw look really evil. Um, they, maybe they, maybe, I mean, every every villain in Fire Emblem is evil for this. Like, a lot of villains are evil for the sake of evil. It's just like, I find that, like, that's not even a bad, it's not even, like, a huge deal. I feel like... I always had a feeling that Fire Emblem stories are like kind of more couched in like the development of the heroes rather than like the development of the villains. Um, that doesn't mean that like a Fire Emblem game doesn't get better with, with good villains. Like me personally, even though Sacred Stones is a, is a favorite and people love Leon, I'm not a huge fan of him. And I think Sacred Stones is better because like its cast is better minus Ephraim and Erica, because they aren't that good. Nurgle is kind of a bad villain, but FE7 has great characters. And, and on the other hand, you have like the other opposite side where you have good heroes and bad villains, or good villains, bad good heroes and good villains, like in FE4. But then again, you have characters, you have like villains like Raedric in FE5 who are total, not <laughs> totally bad, but Leaf is like one of like actually one of, I think. He goes through a really, really amazing story in, in his like personal journey, so um, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know how I got here, but yes, I think it won't matter that much unless they're god-awful. Like, I don't know, Zephiel? <laughs> God, I hate Zephiel. <laughs> Is Sothis a playable unit and are beast units still in the game? I don't know and I don't know. How do you think this Fire Emblem will set the stage for future Fire Emblem games and the series as a whole? Honestly, I don't even know because Fire Emblem always like remakes their shit. Like Awakening set the stage, but then Fates like was better than Awakening mechanically, I'd say. And then Echoes went back to FE2 and then did that. And then this game is completely different from all that. I don't really know. I think it's just gonna. I think if I think if Three Houses is as good as people say. Um, like the reviewers who aren't totally biased at all. Um, I'm guessing that it's probably gonna have a lot to live up to, but probably a good thing, I guess. I don't really know how to answer this question. <laughs> if you could choose one character to recruit over to your house, who would you pick and why? So, if I was, I'm Blue Lions, and if I would pick anyone from the Black Eagles, it would either be Linhart or Casper, because I like them both a lot. And if it was from the Golden Deer, I would pick Marianne, or mm, probably, yeah, Raphael or Marianne, probably. Thoughts on the class changing mid-battle? I feel like it's an innovation that cannot be overstated. I really hope the game is, yeah, I think that's really cool. I think that's going to add a lot of fun to the game and a lot of like ways you can approach a map. Like, I think that's going to be fun. I, I really like that idea. Do you feel the same? Do you feel that this game will create even more memes, or have we? No, 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 no. no. Always memes, memes forever. We've just hit, we've just hit, we've just like started, dude. We've hit, we've just started with the memes. Would you like to change someone's design and why? I don't know because like a lot of the students are like they just look like students, so I feel like that question would be better appropriate for like after the time skip where we see everyone in the future because I genuinely don't know. I I, I like I mean the student designs are like they're in uniform and they're young I guess they don't really I don't think they really need a lot I guess maybe like Hilda could be more interesting but outside of that I don't know Edelgard experience when um hopefully before the 26th you and lucky crit aren't too handsome for YouTube question mark no I don't think <laughs> What would be a character you'd love to see in the game or future Effie games? Any character archetypes or backstories that you feel haven't been touched on enough? I would like to see, like, a really, really good NPC recruitment that, like, we haven't seen in a while. Like, 
not really like associated with the heroes. I want to say Garrick, but Garrick, yeah, Garrick was green first. Yeah, maybe like another Garrick or like just like characters who aren't like attached to like the like the main force that aren't Sayri because I feel like Sayri was really like kind of like a missed opportunity. If they had kind of like a Gonzalez recruitment again, Bada could have been recruitable in some way. I think that would be so awesome or like a like a generic boss who ends up you don't really think about and then he like come and comes back and then he becomes like an asset to your team like if Bada was recruitable or like glass like these really like hilariously like these hilarious villains and then if we could like kind of see their more more humane side yeah that'd be cool i guess fates kind of does no fates doesn't do that because they have recruitable they have capturable bosses but they have no supports or anything so i think like a generic boss who you don't see like becoming someone who you can help you ends up being that way like gonzalez except an actual was gonzalez was just a recruitable enemy but like i'm talking about like a boss who like just kind of comes back favorite teacher who i have no idea i have not paid attention to any of the teachers really um I have no idea. Hanneman looks pretty cool because he's like a Crest Researcher guy. But also, like, Manuela looks hilarious and she seems really fun to be with, so maybe her. Most likely S support? Um, like, who I want to S support? Like, what does that question mean? Since when are the female teachers this hot? <laughs> I don't know, they weren't like this in high school. Do you think Three Halves will be better than Gaiden? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. What kind of things do you look for in a cute Fire Emblem girl? Okay, all right. <laughs> what kind of things do you look for in a cute Fire Emblem girl, and which of the girls do you think will be your favorite so far in Three Houses? Okay. So, my favorite Fire Emblem girl or from Three Houses so far, I don't know, this is even a weird question to answer, Post time skip Annette is what I'm looking forward to. There. Post time skip Annette. In a cute fire. Like, what do you look for in a girl? Like, how do you answer this question? <laughs> what do you look for in girls? I don't know. They're nice. They have good personalities. They're not stupid, I guess. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Which Fire Emblem Three Houses character are you most excited to use post time skip? Annette, Marianne, Dimitri. Which character would you allow to stay in a different house so you can kill them? I choose Lorenz. I choose Hilda. <laughs> if we get more costume DLC, which costumes would you want? It can be from Fire Emblem or other another game series. If they had like lit not not just palette swaps, but like actual costumes of the other lords, like if you can get Byleth to get like a Elliewood DLC costume, or like a Hector one or whatever that'd be sick or like if you would if you could like get like reskins of your classes like let's say you made Edelgard into an armor and you got like a Hector redesign or whatever that'd be pretty cool but I don't know that sounds pretty far-fetched